Well, hello there. You're tuning in once again to The Rodcast, the only place to come to find out all the best information you can about CGI impact-resistant windows and doors. I'm your host. That's me, Rod McDee, the volunteer head of R&D. And I'm joined, as always, by Penny, my number two. That's right. And it's officially hurricane season. Yeah, it really is, Penny. It's hurricane season. Yeah, we want to talk about ex- important things. Yeah, I mean, we want to talk about important things about hurricane season because it's a very important time. Very important. Everyone is serious during hurricane season. You got to protect your home, your family, yourself. Yeah, you got to protect all those things. Right. I know about all that. I mean, it's what you have to do. Oh, do you? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I know I know a thing or two about hurricane preparation. Oh, I bet you do. Yeah, I mean, you know, no big deal. I mean, but, you know, I happen to know a bunch. You know, I, I, that's all. I just know a bunch of stuff. I mean, you, Why don't you probably you know us? that I know a bunch of stuff about it. You do. You, you know quite a bit of things. Yeah, I know. I, I, you know, I just I, I have lots of knowledge to share. And, you know, it's in here. The knowledge is here. Well, why the don't door you The door is there. It? Just knock, knock. Knock, knock. Hello there. Oh, it's Penny. Hi. Hi, Rod. Do you want to talk about your knowledge? Yeah, I'd love to talk about my knowledge. Penny, thanks for asking. Okay. No big deal that you haven't done so already. Whatever. No big deal. All right, Rod. Why don't you go ahead and tell us about some of your hurricane prep ideas? Okay, since you asked, I'll happily talk about hurricane prep. Hurricane season is upon us. It's intense. It's a time when you have to not only be scared, but you have to be ready. Because fear, not going to serve you. But readiness, that's going to serve you. Penny, there's two ways to be prepared. Do you know what they are? Yeah, let's talk about it. That's I mean, right. there's active Ugh. preparation. Yeah. You know, it's a bit, you know, strenuous. Yeah, when, well, yeah, that's exactly what I think of when I think of the word active. Yeah. It means you got to do a lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of work, a lot first of, of all. A lot of physical work. A lot of physical work, you're right. So if you don't have CGI windows, first of all, why? Second of all, you're going to have to board those up. Don't have CGI windows, you got to board them up. That's going to be part of your active prep. Uh, let's see. You have a gorgeous yard. I do. Love all the stuff you've done in your yard. We've had quite quite a couple barbecues in your yard. Yes, you've also walked in across my yard at 2.30 in the morning. Well, I just want to make sure your windows are safe, and they were. Yeah. But when I was walking across your yard, I tripped over several objects. Right. Tripped over your, your lawn chairs. Oh, i got to do something about your those. Your little Caravaggio statue. You have a lot of little little statues all around your yard. Yeah, you know, I like to talk to them sometimes. Nothing wrong with that. Right. But you know, those become flying hazards. They do. In the hurricane. So all that loose objects you got in your yard, what do you got to do with them? We want to tie them up. You got to tie them up. You got to put them somewhere where they're not going to get caught up in the hurricane winds because hurricane winds are unpredictable. They can whip up anything that's on the ground. Bring it up, throw it around your yard. So you got to round up those loose objects, put them somewhere safe. Right. Food prep. Food prep's another thing. Oh my gosh. What are some... Good food preps we can do during the hurricane or okay. some nice canned foods we... You just said it right there, canned foods. Yeah. You got canned canned peaches. I'm a big fan of canned peaches. I don't know if you... What, what kind of syrup? you like light syrup or heavy syrup in your I canned like peaches? I like light syrup. Samesies. Yeah. Samesies. Too much syrup's too sugary. So light syrup canned peaches. Maybe some, some green beans in a can. Peanut butter. Basically, all those canned non-perishable goods, that's what you're going to need. Right. That's all part of the active preparation for a hurricane. You know how you can make it easier, Penny? How? One step. If you don't have CGI impact-resistant windows and doors, install them, and you're ready to go for the hurricane season. And that is passive preparation. That's right. You just install your CGI impact-resistant windows. One and done. My house is ready. Your house is ready. We are prepared. We are prepared. For hurricane season. That's right. My CGI impact-resistant windows and doors are literally sitting there going like this. Come on, hurricane. Bring it See on. what you got. Yeah. I'm not afraid of you, Hurricane Anthony. Yeah. Hurricane Brenda. <laughs> Hurricane Carlo. Hurricane Diane. They should name a hurricane after me. They should. Hurricane Rod McD. Whew. That would be a tough one right there. That would be a hurricane you don't want to mess with. Nope, not at all. You don't mess with the Rod McD. That's right. I can see that, you know? I'm thinking about it. I could see them naming a hurricane after me. Wow. You must have some really good prediction skills going on. You know, I... I don't want to, you know, I don't want to toot my own horn, but honk, honk. I'm a pretty good predictor. Go ahead. When I was nine years old, I was standing in my backyard, and I said, I think it's going to rain. Guess what happened the next day? It rained. It rained. It mm. rained. I called that. I predicted it. I, I think I could be a meteorologist. You very well could be. W- w- 
if you were going to define the qualities a meteorologist needs to have, right. what are they? What are the three top qualities a meteorologist needs to have? They would have to have a brain, mm -hmm. of course, to think with. And uh, they would have to be very in tune with nature and the weather. And, uh, gosh, they would have to be very cognizant of the environment, you know, when it feels bad, what the weather's like previously. They've got a lot on their shoulders. Penny, can you just stop describing me perfectly? Okay, I can. Because that's yeah. what I am. I could. I have the predictive powers. Yeah. And if and you know what? I predict that predictive is going to become a word. Mm. It's going to be in the dictionary within two years. Right. Predictive. Everyone's going to be saying it. In it's fact, a new word. Huh. Oh, Nostradam. Nostradamus. What did you just call me? I knew you were going to call me that. Nostradamus. Nostradamus. We got him over here. Nostradamus. Okay. I predict that there is. There's an extra chair here. I predict there's an extra chair here. I predict there's an extra microphone. I'm predicting that someone is going to fill this space. Wow. Did you come up with that prediction before I, or I, after you I placed it? I can't explain how my magic happens, Penny. It just happens. I predict that there's going to be a crinkling sound. A crinkling sound is happening. Oh, I and wonder then what I, predict I hear. That, oh, I predict that someone is walking behind me. Oh, who's I that? Predict that's it's not it, it's going to I predict that someone is sitting down. Yep, he is. I predict that I predict that Penny is looking doubtful. I predict that that there's our guest just adjusted their microphone and is adjusting their helmet. I predict our guest is taking off his helmet. I predict our guest is fire suit guy. Wow. <gasps> hey, it's the R O D C A S T man. How's it going, Rod? What? How's it going, Penny? What's going on? I'm not a strong speller, but that was clear to me. That was And I knew you were going to come in here and spell the name of the Rod cast. I'm really impressed. I predict that you are extremely happy to be here. How would you feel to be here? I'm eccentrically on fire. To eccentrically be on fire is the same thing as extremely happy. I predict. I predict that you that you use synonyms a lot. Is that right? That is correct. He just did it again. Right yeah. and correct synonyms. When did you come up with all those predictions? Like they, right now? Do you ask? Do you ask a magician how how they do their tricks? Do you ask? Do you ask a chef how he makes his meals? I mean, essentially, yes. Well, I mean, I mean, you can ask a chef how they make their meals, but that's their magic. That's their secret. It's my, I can't explain it. The gift is just, it's bestowed upon some of us. Rod McD, a man of many secrets. I predict that you're taking your gloves off. I predict that Fire Suit Guy is taking his gloves off right now. Oh, gosh. He did it. He did it. I can't, I'm, I'm so good at this. I'm so good at this. Yeah. You know what I predict? I predict that Rod McD will get us back on track to talking about very important things like hurricane preparation. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure, yeah. I predict that your prediction will come true because I also predict that you'll get very upset if I don't. Is that so? That, that I think that's so because I predicted it. Is there going to be a next time? Well, there will be a next time, but this time, fire suit guy, while you're sitting here, what can you tell all the folks who are going to be watching the Rodcast about hurricane preparedness? Well, first and most importantly... Keep your hands and feet inside your home at all times, but more importantly, be safe inside your house. Secondly, if you're safe, you're going to have CGI impact resistant doors and windows to your home. Nice. Fire suit guy, you live in Miami, which is the home of CGI impact resistant windows and doors. It is. Uh, so Hialeah being our home base for CGI impact resistant doors and windows, you got to be a little careful when you're coming up these alleys. You know, it's not just a uh, tornado or hurricane alley. And in Spanish, we always say... Ten cuidado. Siempre tiene tu cosa preparado. Tiene tu agua. Tiene tu familia. Y everything has to be tied down. So basically I said, walk, go with caution. Be safe. Have everything prepared. And always have your family and friends close tied to you. Because without them, it's not a safe home. That's fantastic. And a lot of, we have a lot of Spanish-speaking friends who live in that area, so this is very good to help out. Watching the broadcast, we're learning, learning more. I'm learning Spanish myself. It's a very important thing to learn. You just taught me some new words. What is good as information if it's not passed on? That's beautiful. That's beautifully said. I predicted that he was going to say that. Fire suit guy. He's the man. Fire suit guy's the man. Penny, you're awesome. I'm fantastic. The Rod Squad is here to make sure that you are safe during the hurricane season. Installing CGI impact resistant windows and doors. Easiest thing you can do, but the most important thing you can do to stay safe is to physically do your best to stay safe. Don't go outside if you don't need to. Get to a secure location in the event of a hurricane. Take care of yourself and your family before all else. How do you say that in Spanish, my friend? Cuida tu familia y tu amigos, tu animales, antes que...
que tú diga allá afuera. Oh, fire suit guy. Fuego. You're coming back for more episodes. That's that's right. He is. Yeah. You predict that? I, I predict it. Yeah. Do you predict it? Yeah, I can tell that I predicted you predicted that. So and I that I predicted much. you predicting that I would predict that. Because we're predicting of a prediction that's predicting. Predictative. And so we all predict together. We do predict together. And we all stay safe together. And we all watch the broadcast together. We all go to CGIWindows.com together. We all follow CGI on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram together. We do it together so we succeed together. We'll see you next time on the broadcast. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.